Hello, hello. And hello, hello, hello again. Good morning. And good Tuesday to all of you who are there. Welcome to the stream. My name is Douglas, but you know that already. But what you don't know is that we're gonna keep playing Celeste and we stopped at a boss fight. Which is tricky because now I have to remember how the game works and also beat a boss while doing so. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Nathan and Auring X. It has been a while indeed. Hope you have been doing well. And also, I hope that you guys have had a very nice weekend. Let me find the game. Uh, there we go, Celeste. Climbing up a mountain is difficult, you know. Especially when half the mountain is missing. But I guess that that's what makes this game a, a platformer. Of sorts and kinds. Uh, game capture, Celeste. There we go. Do we go? Do we go? Okay, we do go. Yes, Celeste. Lovely. Oh boy, the game is on again. So, <clears throat> normally when I continue a series, we I re go and recap what happened thus far. But this time around, I don't even remember exactly what was going on. Um, we play as Madeline, who I ended up renaming as Doug. So Mrs. Doug decided to climb a mountain for reasons yet to be made clear. And apparently she's also an adult. Which I didn't know. I did, I did not know. Uh, we have had weird dreams and there seems to be some sort of supernatural... Uh, phenomena going on and along the way up we stopped at this hotel on the in this hotel there's a guy who is kind of kind of it's kind of off and then our evil side who came that came out of a mirror uh, decided to offend the hotel guy and now he has become a boss and we have to run away from him and survive while climb, climbing quote unquote the mountain. <laughs> so that's where we stopped. Naren says it's been alright, work has been rough but it's almost vacation time. Ooh, when is vacation time? But, along the way I also unlocked this, inside the hotel I found this hidden room where I unlocked the Pico 8, which seems to be some sort of mini game. It's kind of like a game within the game, but it's the same game. So I have Celeste. Yeah, I still remember the controllers, at least that. Oh, shucks. Oh, boy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. So that's what the game is, pretty much. It's... it. It's you kind of jumping around and you have this dash ability that allows you to cross much larger distances by dashing up midair.
Oh, dog damn it. And that's about it. You just jump further. Oh no. By dashing in midair, but the idea is that you can only do that once. Up. I had the right idea there. So you can only jump. You can only dash jump once. And the uh, and those strawberries are like little collectibles you have to get during the level. The idea behind them is that every level has a strawberry. I mean, hidden somewhere. But the idea with the strawberries is that uh, you have to get them and then go back to safe land for them to count. Otherwise, it doesn't count. And also those winged strawberries, they run away if you use dash before. Like any time during the level if you use dash, the winged strawberry kind of goes away. And normally there's a skill in the normal game which is you can... You can kind of grab walls and... Oh, oh, damn it. You can grab grab walls and climb them up, but apparently in the Pico 8 version of Celeste, that's not an ability. Ah, oh, there you go. There's balloons. What they do in the normal game, they're like kind of floating crystals. What they do is they replenish your your dash, so you can dash. Uh, more than once. That oh, thing it. And that is pretty much the entire game. It's using those sets of skills to traverse kind of difficult levels and then maybe get the strawberries and maybe maybe just content yourself with finishing the game. Who knows? I have been trying to collect the strawberries, they're awfully hard and I have lost a lot of time trying to collect them, but in general it has been a very nice experience doing that. I mean, knowing that I am leaving the level with as much completion as I could have gotten from it. Yeah. There you go, if you dash, you lose the strawberry. Okay, this is a tricky one. Oh well, and Oring, you say in May I'll be heading to another country for the first time since I was little. Oh, which country are you going to? What country are you going to? And also, how are you doing today, Nathan? Still resting, I hope. Yep. Whoa. Alright, how do I do this? Okay, the complete edge of the screen does not count as level. I can't climb that. One thing I really liked about this Pico is because since you don't have the wall while climbing ability the game forced me to learn the mechanic of wall kicking which I didn't I did not even knew was a mechanic oh I see Yeah, it's kind of... Doug, damn it, Doug.
Ah. Tak, no. Ah. Nathan, you tried to sculpt a cat person anatomy. Ah, how did that work out? The other... The other day I was like, oh, sculpting was fun, I wanna try that again. But sculpting is also kinda tricky, as it happens. So last mountain, this memorial, this memorial to those who perished on the climb. Alright. And there's a strawberry there. Oh, what's this? Alright, oh, dang it. Oh. Kinda, kinda, something kinda like that, but not quite that. Yep. Yay. So in the normal game, once you have caught a strawberry, you, if, if, even if you die, the strawberry is still there. Okay, never mind. Up. Up there. Ah. Okay, it has begun by getting bamboozled with the controllers. I misclick. I confuse the jump button with the dash button and things don't turn out okay in the end. Oh well. Anywho, uh, Orion says I'll be going to Scotland, which is across the ocean from you. Ooh, you're in France then, or in Iceland? I forget which one is which. Also, hello there, Shuko69. Hey to you too. How are you doing today? How's it going? How's your true as the morning so far? And Nathan says, and later I will play in pen and paper RPG with friends. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, dang it. I saw that. Uh, dang it. Some of these days we, we were playing RPG ourselves. You were there as well. So you said that our... Oh, dang it. You said that our RPG is way more violent than your than the one you guys have. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back to the game. Let's climb this escape from this celestial resort. Apparently in total I have been playing Celeste for three hours fifty minutes. I got one of the beat sides. I think that's what that means. And I have had 578 deaths so far, but 36 strawberries. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's this guy here. Nari, you're in Canada. That sounds fun. Oh, dang it. <clears throat> yeah. The first time I ran, I didn't even bother getting that strawberry. I don't know if I should even try. 
This is a very long session. Mm. I know it's strawberry. Even though I have I have gotten a king for collecting wall. Right now I feel like completing the game is more imperative. Ah, oh, dang, that had that would have worked. Yeah, time to speedrun the boss chase. Because apparently this game was also made with speedrunning in mind. playing RPG pen and paper RPG with your friends is that a regular thing you guys do? yay Here they say it. Apparently, Madeline is an adult, but the sprite is so small. She feels like a young, like a young kid. Now, it's more important that I try and take my time. Then try to be fast. Also, I don't think that this is a checkpoint of any kind. Oh, this is! Mr. Oshiro, stop! I just wanted to help! I've decided to close the hotel for repairs. The second floor plumbing is leaking. The library, library is in complete disarray. Not to mention the hole in the ceiling of the presidential suit. <clears throat> Please, just leave me alone. Oh, there you go. Goodbye. And now I go back to climbing this mountain. Chapter complete. 
Oh, this poor guy. And his sad, sad, sad dust. Whoa. So the first actual level was the city. In the city I have got six, 10 strawberries and 61 deaths. The next level was that dilapidated castle, I guess. Where I got 13 strawberries and 51 deaths and I got the B-side tape. In the hotel though, I got 13 strawberries, 486 deaths. And I found the B-side tape but I didn't get it. I said fuck it. And now where are we going to next? Golden Ridge. <coughs> Let's uh, keep a climbing. Climbing dip. Low on energy in a pinch. Jumping away from walls doesn't consume stamina. <gasps> Ooh. Good job. And back we go. Oh, no, dang it. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot about that. I have to jump off of the cloud. Uh, the timing is kind of weird, too. Oh uh, yeah. No. Oh. Dang it. Ah. And what would that be? <clears throat> what? Oh, I can choose a direction at work. And then I can use my dash on top of that. Weird. But sure. The way I see it, the mountain can't bring out anything that isn't already in you. But it gotta be a few crawl crows short of a murder to li live up in here in the first place, right? What a weird sentence. What are you even talking about? Oh, I'm just rambling like the old bat that I am. Are you ready? Are you ready to give up? I I know a shortcut back to your car. Back off, lady. I'm heading for the summit. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between stubbornness and determination, isn't it? You remind me of myself when I was young. And had 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 rare hair as well. Good luck and mind the wind. It's a strong. <clears throat> and Aaron says those clowns work like Kirby's end level bonus thing. You jump higher when it's at its its lower po lowest point. It seems not quite. It kind of goes down, then it goes back up, and then you have to jump when it's on the its highest point after going down. That's the highest jump you do. 
And Ori also says, sorry Doug, stream crashed on you while you were asking me a question. What was the question? Uh, if you were going to, to Scotland just for, for vacations, like for pleasure, or if it's like a business of some sort. You don't get many visitors up here, do you? No, I can't say that I do. I don't mind the solitude though. Sometimes I think I should live in solitude too. I really tried to get through to Mr. Oshiro. I wanted to help him. Oshiro needs to move on for that hotel. But it's not going to happen on your schedule. And it doesn't help that you have got something to prove. Hmm. Don't you get lonely in that little cabin? I have friends, dear. I may be crazy, but I'm not a hermit. Sorry. I didn't mean to assume. When I was younger, I couldn't imagine staying in one place for this long. But then I found this mountain. I knew right away that it would be my home. What's so special about it? The mountain shows you who you really are. Whether you are ready for it or not. It keeps me honest. Hmm. Maybe it makes my evil side come out as well. Oh boy, now there's wind. And... Ori will be there for a friend's birthday actually. Oh, cool. <laughs> Oh, there's a strawberry there. So, how would I go down there? Alright. Oh, those are spikes. They will kill me. See, in the normal levels, I can I can climb walls, so that's cool because I can kind of hold in place whilst hugging a wall. Ah, uh, dang it! Uh. Hey! All right. Do I? Go through this, these things when I crash them like this. I don't. I know I don't. Hey, bye. Also, wait. Yeah, really. <clears throat> Apparently I also recover my dash when I get in those bubbles. So that's good to know. So you're traveling... Ugh. Okay, pink clouds vanish. You're traveling just for uh, your friend's birthday or... Do you also have more plans over there as well? Ah, dang it. Yeah, Alright. That was foolish. Ah, come. Come on, Doug. Get the timing of this thing. Yeah. 
but oh okay now the wind is through the other side and there's a strawberry down there a delicious okay. Yeah, all right yeah dang it yeah I forgot all, all about that as well even though I can even though I can climb walls I can't climb them forever. can jump there, I just need to have a little bit of remaining stamina. Alright. This is tricky, but I think I know more or less how to do it. Ah, uh, dang it. Hey! <laughs> Alright, let's 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 go. Uh but Nathan you said you also did the if you were trying to do cat person's anatomy. Um uh, that's one more of those uh oh, dang it. One more of those studies you you do normally or is that for a project this time around? God dang it. Actually, let me look into something. Can I climb and then just, yeah, I can go straight ahead if I want. Isn't amazing, but... Yeah. Okay, that is a possibility. And you also said, and to get out and see the world a bit more. I haven't been much of anywhere so far, and now that I have a job that's good, that's got good vacation hours, you plan to use them. Oh, that's nice. What do you work with, by the way? <coughs> if you don't mind me asking. No. Uncoolest thing is that I gotta use my dash to get that strawberry. Uh. Aha! Yay! No more wind. So I. I'm almost positive that those things will kill me. Yes, they will kill me. <clears throat> oh. That one thing. Aha. Oh, back to more wind. And Arin, you say you do work helping business transition into the digital into the digital market. You mean like old fashioned 
businesses like stores and whatnot. And Nathan, <clears throat> you said that it's for your game, but you also want to, want to have this kind of model. Have I never done a cat person before? Oh no. Yeah. Alright. Oh no. No, dang, dang it. Oh, that didn't work. Kind of so while it's winding, I can theoretically climb this wall very easily. Then I can use the wind again to kind of return after getting the strawberry. Let's try this again. Yes, I totally don't know what I'm doing. And Nathan says, most of them was just a heads, now I need to search for proportions of body and anatomy, something original, different than human, bull or canine. I see. So it's more so about making a repertoire of... Uh, a repertoire of animal people models. Yay! What do you know? Timing yourself with the wind kind of works every now and then. <coughs> birds! Lovely little birds. Ooh, strawberries. that there's bonus levels in here. Okay. 
I got the strawberry. There's another thing I wanted to check with this level. Oh, dang it. There's another hidden strawberry there in that wall. I saw it. Well, oh, now that I don't have my dash anymore, getting that will be tricky. I got the idea at least. <sighs> and Aaron says, not quite. At the moment, we're mostly based on the financial sector, assisting with things like documentation conversion from paper to digital and other things like that. Oh, I see. Actually, making sure that institutions and whatnot, they have a lot of paper records, get those records on digital mediums. God dang it. See, I get confused with the controllers. I don't know which what button jumps and what button does what anymore. Okay, so this is the jump button. It is definitely the jump button. Aha! I got two hidden strawberries. Would you look at that? Time to get more hidden strawberries. Um, how will I go about getting that one though? Something like that. Yes. No. Ah. Come on, Dad. All you need is lightning fast reaction times. Nothing else. No. Hmm. How did I do that before? So have any of you played Celeste before? Before this is all I have had seen was a brief playthrough of the first few levels of Celeste. Where I was able to see how unforgivingly hard the difficulty is at certain points. That was about that. Maybe that is the way, instead of jumping up and forward, I jump just upwards. <laughs> also, the further up in this thing I am, last time, okay, last time I will waste trying to get to the right place.
Dabba 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 Wabba dabba dabba Is that true? Oh, sugoi desu ne Ah, dang it Oh, so hello there Iruga, welcome to the stream We're playing more Celeste Trying to look for more strawberries But now you have not played just seen you haven't played it before, but it looks fun. It is fun, very, very fun. I dug them. Ain't this the funniest thing? Quite a okay, that's more or less what I have to do. It's quite a charming game as well. Uh, last week, what I was playing was uh, Pikuniku. Well then, Doug, you also have to do something after that. Pikniku is a, another platformer that, that has a lot of charm and a lot of, you know, <coughs> personality. So into it. And it's, if anything, a very charming game. And Celeste has that as well. Yeah. Alright. Man, my death score at the end of this level is gonna be fantastic. Just to wait and see. No, 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 no. Aha! I got a dog damned strawberry. I can't get through there. Also, another thing I was. Oh no. Well, that. Another thing I was seeing is that apparently the. The person who did the art, like the pixel art for this game, is. Is Brazilian. Alright, how do I do this? I don't think I can do that. Oh, I can't stand in here. All right, that that helps a bit. But mm, there is much else for me to do. As I were to go and do some crazy jump techniques. Which could theoretically work, but eh. This is one of those moments when you can clearly tell like something is missing. Oh. Just a second. Is that a little grabbable ledge I see on the bottom left side there? Because if that's so, then... Holy shit. I can't even fathom a way to grab that thing. Oh, never mind. Not good enough for the Celeste dogs, apparently. Um, let me climb up. Yeah, we can climb up. Oh, hello. Who the hell are you? Oh. Hmm. That's all I can see, apparently. Anyway, but anyway, how are you doing today, Iruga? It is lovely as true as day morning. Oh. oh, I can't do that. No, whoa, whoa, whoa.
Okay, solid ground the whole way. thing up there is some sort of weird pathway. I don't think it is, but it could be. Nope, it isn't. There was a little heart up there though, so I wonder. Oh, and they closed off my passage. They don't want me there. Oh, so there's a dark damn arrow in there. How how do I go about climbing there? Dark ding you game. Dark dingster. <laughs> and little guy, you're still waking up, honestly. Well, at least you're being honest. Wolf morning. Nope. Explains some things. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now that we're here, further down is the end of the level, so might as well not go through there. Yep. Wait, was this all bonus stuff? Oh, so does that mean? Yep. <clears throat> Maybe I have to hold it. Yes, I do have to hold it. I see. I'm a smart boy. Secret level. <coughs> yeah. Cheers to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm better now. I'm 100% better. Also, let me check something out. Ooh. What? So for the moment I'm just checking something here real quick. Uh, I don't know if you guys have have uh, there's this new game that was just about to launch. Um, outward and apparently has launched. Just launched, so I'm gonna get it and start downloading it and maybe play it it seems like a nice little RPG-ish sort of game and I have been looking forward to it 
And now it's here, what do you know? <clears throat> and it's amazingly cheap. I thought it was gonna be 160 bucks, but it's like 90 bucks. But that's fun. Just let me find that thing here in my computer. And then I can have it going on. And there we go. It's about to go and work. So then we can go back to Celeste. Celeste is over here. And Ari says, Smart boy, Doug. Why? I have done nothing. Just tried some puzzles here and there. But yeah, Celeste. Ooh. What the actual heck he is that? <coughs> Wait, what? What? Oh, I see. Wow. That's tricky. That's very tricky. Ah, dang it. Yeah. Like this game looks childish when you when you look at the at the art style and the gameplay, but dog damn this game is anything but <clears throat> Reminds me of Super Meat Boy, which was a classic. Early 2010s game about being hard. Ah, dang it. Being hard was the 